Hey guys, Dave here from Guitar Zero to Hero and in today's video, I'm gonna be trying to answer the question of whether the size of an acoustic guitar body matters when it comes to the tone and overall sound of a guitar. And to get to the bottom of this, I'm gonna be comparing two guitars that are basically identical in terms of materials and build. The only thing that will differ between these two guitars is the body shape. Now, obviously there's a number of other factors when it comes to choosing the right guitar shape for you, but we'll touch on that later. So I have two magnificent guitars here from LA-based Orangewood. So we have the Sage Live model here, which is a grand auditorium cutaway shape, and we have the Hudson Live model here, which is a dreadnought shape. There's obviously a number of other acoustic guitar body shapes, but these two are generally the most common, your dreadnought and the grand auditorium. So as I mentioned at the start, the materials and build on both these guitars are identical. So for both these guitars, we have a torrified solid Sitka spruce top, solid mahogany back and sides, a mahogany neck, an ebony fretboard and bridge. And they both share a 25 and a half inch scale length, 45 millimeter nut width, and an identical neck profile. The only thing that differs here is the size of the body. So let's just jump straight into the sound comparison and then afterwards we can talk about which acoustic body size is best for you.
So what did you guys think? What sounded best to you? Let me know in the comments below, but here's my take. So as I would expect, the Hudson does have a much broader and fuller overall sound. And this is obviously due to the bigger body. The Sage though is not far behind and it definitely shares similar tonal characteristics as of course it's made from the same materials. I'd say it's slightly more refined in terms of the sound, but that's the trade off you're gonna get when you opt for a smaller body shape and a cutaway. So should you get a cutaway? Now, personally, I'm a big fan of cutaways. If given the option, I definitely prefer to have one as it does allow you to access the higher frets if you're into playing lead guitar parts and you never know when you might need it. Having said that, when playing the acoustic guitar, 97% of the time, I'm sticking to the first 14 frets anyway. So in this case, is it worth the trade-off? Well, for me, after playing these guitars for a bit, I'd choose the Dreadnought or the Hudson in this case for the overall better tone. I will add though that although the Hudson had a better sound overall, in my opinion, the Sage certainly was more comfortable to play as a guitar. With the smaller body shape, it definitely felt better on the lap and was considerably lighter. And for those of you who are shorter, then you might actually prefer the Grand Auditorium shape over the Dreadnought shape. Now, I've found that if I'm playing a Dreadnought for too long, my shoulder can start straining a little bit as I'm you know, having to have my arm over the body quite a bit. Whereas with a Grand Auditorium shape, that sort of effect is slightly reduced, so it's a bit more comfortable on the lap. Now, perhaps you're eyeing one of these models or comparing a Dreadnought versus Grand Auditorium in general, but don't know which to choose. So hopefully this video has helped you decide. Now, both of these particular guitars start at 695 US dollars for the non-electric option, which is insane value really for the, for the tone that you're getting. And they also include a premium hard case. And for an extra $300, you can get the LR Bags Anthem pickup installed. And as you heard in the demo, it sounds excellent. So for these orange wood guitars, you can really tell that they've tried hard to get that, that classic vintage guitar sound at an affordable price point. And I think they've done a very good job at that. And since getting these guitars, it has been hard for me to put them down. They're actually really fun to play. And full disclosure, I'm not getting paid for this review or this comparison at all. These are my genuine thoughts. Now, one of the other big upsides for Orangewood, in my opinion, is that every guitar is professionally set up in Los Angeles prior to getting shipped to the buyer. So straight out of the box, it's going to play beautifully. And that was my experience with both these guitars as well. And if you wanna find out more about these guitars, then you can check them out in the link below. If you have any questions about these particular guitars or guitar body sizes in general, then please let me know in the comments. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.